Well, a few days ago, we started making this probiotic-rich ginger carrot slaw. And as promised, I'm back, now that we've let this ferment for a few days, to give it a taste and see what we think. Hi, sweet friends. I'm Mary, and welcome back to Mary's Nest, where I teach traditional cooking skills for making nutrient-dense foods like bone broth, ferments, sourdough, and more. So if you enjoy learning about these things, consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to click on the little notification bell below that'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Well, as you may recall from our previous video, we started to make this ginger carrot slaw. And I told you that I would come back after a few days of letting it ferment and give it a taste and see how it's going. Because normally what you wanna do when you make fermented vegetables is let them ferment on the counter for two, maybe three days, and then check them and see if you like the flavor. And if the flavor and the crunch and so on and so forth seems to be satisfactory to you, then that's a good time where you can take out the, the little glass weight or little jelly jar, whatever you're using to weight down the contents, and then put your storage lid on and then transfer it to the refrigerator. Well, I've got clean hands here and a clean fork, and I'm just taking out the glass weight that I use to weight down the slaw. And now we'll get ready to give this a taste. Now, before I taste this, I just wanna see the aroma. Oh, it smells wonderful. Yeah, the ginger is a real standout. And I think that that's what makes these uh, grated carrots so tasty as opposed to just grating them plain. Adding that little punch of ginger complements the sweetness of the carrots beautifully. Now you may be wondering if you're new to fermenting vegetables, why do we do this? And the reason is that fermented vegetables are very high in probiotics. And probiotics are good bacteria that nourish our gut. And as we've learned and I've mentioned in, in countless other videos that Good bacteria and a nourished gut is what scientists tell us make us healthy. The healthier our gut, the healthier we are. So adding fermented vegetables into our diet is very important because it's the good bacteria improves our overall gut health. And the nice thing about having lots of good bacteria in our gut health through fermented vegetables is that these types of things, ferments, help us digest our foods better, especially those foods that are cooked, like meats. Fermented vegetables are a wonderful accompaniment to cooked meats. Not only does it help us uh, digest the, the cooked foods better, it helps us absorb the nutrients from those cooked foods. So incorporating fermented vegetables into your meals is a wonderful thing to do. And a ginger carrot slaw is a great place to get started because it's easy to make. And I'll be sure to link uh, in the iCards and in the description below to our first video where we got started making these. But there, it's very easy to make and it's very flavorful and definitely worth giving it a try. So let me take some of these out of the jar and we'll give them a taste. Well, the aroma is just wonderful and the texture looks terrific. Mmm. Well, these are delicious. The flavor of the ginger really comes through, yet you have the sweetness of the carrots. So it's a lovely compliment. Well, these are perfect for me and exactly to my liking. So now what I'm gonna do is take a storage lid. This is just a white plastic storage lid uh, that's used on canning jars. This is just a quart size canning jar that I used in my original video where I showed you how to make these. And we're just gonna put the storage lid on like that. And now I'm gonna go and refrigerate this. And this can last up to six months in your refrigerator. It'll continue to ferment a little, but not majorly. Uh, the, the chill of the refrigerator slows down the fermentation uh, process considerably. So it can last about six months, uh, but trust me, this is delicious. It's going to go within a week or two. And I just want to mention about this glass weight and also about this pickle pipe here, as it's called, I believe. Uh, I'll put links in the description below if those are things that you're looking for, but be sure to check out the original video in this series of making the ginger carrots 
because I show you how to, that you don't need these if you don't want to buy them. Uh, there are things that you have around the house, like the little jelly jars that I normally use to weight down ferments uh, for all the years that I was fermenting. And uh, I'll, I show you these different things uh, and how you can use them to make ferments uh, without any special equipment at all, things that you easily have around your house. If you'd like to learn more about traditional cooking, be sure to subscribe to my channel and then click on this video over here where I show you how to make probiotic rich homemade sauerkraut. And I'll see you over there in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless.